One of the best things about Italy is the food, and especially the desserts. And today we're going to take you on a tour of Italy and some of its traditional desserts. I hope you're hungry! Okay, so here we are at Tazza de Oro, a really famous coffee place next to the Pantheon. And we're going to be trying one of the more interesting sweets of Rome. It is called the Granita di Café Campana. It's whipped cream, then granita di cafe, which is basically like iced coffee, um, and then more whipped cream on top, and it's very good. So now we'll, we're going to try it. Mm. <laughs> How is it? Very good. What do you think? Delicious. Mm, delicious. I'm here at Giolitti, and it's an old gelato shop that started in the early 1900s. The special thing about Giolitti is that all the ice creams are made in-house, and they're all very fresh, unlike the touristy gelato places that we'll be taking you later. So, as we said, Italy and Rome are very famous for gelato. But it's important to know which gelato is good and which one is bad. Here we are in front of Blue Ice um, to tell you more about some of the bad gelato. So, what makes Blue Ice different than, say, Giolitti? Well, as you can see in the cases, the gelato is stacked very high and they have to actually put more air into the gelato to make it look like that and it's all for presentation but the thing about gelato is it doesn't have air traditionally so the more air they pump in the less it becomes gelato also you can see the colors when you have a banana flavor that's yellow or mint that's bright green that's not real banana and it's not real mint so it's all about the presentation for tourists but it's not really good gelato as you can see so now we're here at Il Forneo, and this is a typical Roman pastry shop. I'll show you the window here. This basically displays most of their pastries. They have a lot of tortines and biscotti. So some of the cookies are pino latte and amaretti. So we're going to go inside and try some. Let's go. about Italy is that there's so many different regions and they each have their own different types of desserts. We're in a Sicilian bakery where they have This is an olivete and it's a sugar coated almond. Mm. Thanks for joining us on our tour of I Dolci di Italia. And I hope you're full. Arrivederci. How is it?